Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this tutorial video is about photo quality. That translates into resolution by pixels and file size by megabytes. Why is this important? Because Google Photos asks you to choose between original and high quality, and high quality you get for free. So what does 16 megapixels and compressed file size mean? You need to avoid the mistakes that people make and reduce their photo quality. That's by cropping and by improper downloading or copying. And lastly, I want you to know how to test to see that your photo is good enough to print. So the two measurements for photos are resolution, which is the number of pixels, and file size. So notice whenever you look at the info panel for a picture, you will see resolution measured in pixels and file size measured in megabytes or kilobytes. The pixels mean the little dots, the points of color that make up your picture. This particular picture has 4,032 pixels wide and 3,024 pixels high. If you multiply those, you come up with 12 million pixels or megapixels. Your camera might have settings. For example, my Samsung Note 9 is capable of taking a 12 megapixel photo, but I could have selected settings to make it less. I'd recommend not doing that. My iPhone 7, same thing, 12 megapixel. Now, if you have a, a digital SLR camera, you might have a lot more capability and make sure to check your settings that you're not using a low megapixel setting. So lots of megapixels means high photo quality. Few megapixels means low photo quality like this one. And this is what's called being pixelated. There are very few pixels, so it looks blurry. Now, file size is different. File size is simply the amount of space your picture takes. So if you think of a file like a suitcase, and these are all the clothes I want to take with me in my suitcase, I have poor packing skills. I would need this bigger suitcase to fit all these clothes. But if I let my husband Jim pack, he would be able to get it into a smaller suitcase. So that is file compression. Google Photos upload, upload size settings. You have your choice between original, which maintains all pixels and does not compress file size, but you may need to pay for more storage then. The high quality is limited to 16 megapixels and it adds some compression, but that gives you unlimited storage for free. This is what we recommend, and I want to show you how the, the high quality is high quality. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do a demo now. So this photo was taken with an iPhone and it was uploaded in original size. If I click on the info button, it opens the panel and I have a little comment to myself that this was uploaded in original size. So notice it's 12.2 megapixels, 4032 by 3024 and 2.6 megabytes. Now if I go to the next one, this one was uploaded in high quality. Notice that the number of pixels is exactly the same. Since it did not exceed 16 megapixels, Google Photos did not touch the megapixels, but it did pack it better. Instead of the over two megabytes, it's at 1.6. But what happens when you download this or share it with somebody else? This is where people have a problem. The correct way to download this picture is to use the Google Photos commands. It's three dots and download. And I'm going to put it on my desktop in these sample photos and save. Now when I show you that on my computer, there is the picture on my local C drive and if I click on it in Windows, I can see the information and notice it is 4032 by 3024 pixels. So it has not changed in, in quality. However, I see so many people not using the three dot download method. Instead, they use the right click and save image as. 
that is the that is a browser command all you're getting is the quality of the screen so if I save that and look on my that one this is only 1184 it has been significantly decreased in quality another mistake people make is to right click and copy image and then go to wherever they want for example an email and right click and paste once again that is only getting the resolution from your screen the person receiving this photo is going to be receiving a low quality photo but it has nothing to do with Google Photos okay <laughs> So here, in an album in Google Photos, I have four copies of this same picture. The first one is original resolution. The second one is the high resolution Google Photos. The third one was done with the right click and save as. And the fourth one was done with the copy and paste. Now here, they look exact. They all look the same, right? But what if you wanted to zoom in on this little area right here? I click the plus and zoom in. And on the original quality one, I can see that that's two kayaks with three people. On the high quality one, I can also zoom in all the way. But on the lower quality ones, notice this is 1.2 megapixels. If I try to zoom in, that's as far as it goes. I cannot zoom in, therefore, it is just not enough pixels. The method I use to check if a picture is good enough to print is I open it up and I click the three dots and order canvas print. And if it's not good enough, Google Photos will let me know. So this picture was the original quality one. It says that will be fine. Here is the high quality copy. And if I right click order canvas print it says that'll be fine up to 16 by 20 this copy is the one that was created by copy and paste and it is only 1.1 megapixel let's see if that'll be good enough order canvas print Aha, it says well you could print an 8 by 8 with that but you are going to get a blurry picture if you try an 11 by 14 or 16 by 20 and from experience, I know that Google is errs on the side of safety. I have actually printed one that said image may print blurry, and I thought it came out fine. So.